guys, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome back to my home channel. So today we are going to be doing some under sink organization. And to be honest, this is a space that I think is one of my favorite areas to organize just because you can make it look pretty. Everything in there is to be cleaning your house or your dishes or things that you own. And so since everything is to be cleaning, I think it's nice to make it look nice and clean and crisp and just make it functional for what you need in your everyday life. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel for a lot more home decor and home organization inspiration. And let's get into the project. The first thing that I did is I went ahead and washed out underneath of the sink. These cabinets are relatively new, but there was little pieces of sawdust from them drilling in them. Next, I got my contact paper out, and you guys know how much I love contact paper. This one is so pretty and clean and fresh looking, and you can always just get a new piece if it ends up getting crinkled. You'll see here in a second that I struggled a little bit, but I managed to get it unstuck from each other. So even if it's not perfect, just having something on the bottom that you can peel up if something dumps is really, really great. Another quick little tip to go around your pipes is just to cut a slit in the contact paper right where your pipe is. And then as you can see, I kind of cut other little um, pieces, almost like an X right where the pipe is. And you can just push the contact paper back around the back side of the pipe. All right, I used the Cricut to cut out some um, labels that I'm gonna be putting on the different things I'm using to organize under the sink. I found this little stackable organizer bin and I thought it would be perfect for my sponges and things like that. It's two of them in there and they stack together just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my labels on the fronts of these first. All right, before we keep going here, I wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I have partnered with them before. If you guys watch often, you know that, and I love using Skillshare myself. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community with thousands of classes for curious and creative people. Some of my personal favorite topics that they have are productivity and culinary arts. This morning I was actually taking a productivity class from Brooke Glasser, and she just has a lot of helpful tips and tricks for artists to be productive. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads. It's super affordable, under $10 with your annual subscription. I can take parts of the class at a time and stop and then come back to it and get right back into the class. They also have a new feature where they actually have live classes that you can participate in. In the description box, there is a link. The first thousand people to use the link will get a free premium trial skill share membership. The next thing that I'm going to put under the sink is some baking soda and I'm going to go ahead and put it right into this container. It is sealed. Um, these containers are really awesome because they do keep out moisture and as you all probably know baking soda absorbs odors and other things like that so it's best to keep it in a sealed container like this. All 
I'm going to be labeling this as powdered cleaner. Um, I'm actually putting some Barkeeper's Friend in it right now, but if I had Norwex laundry detergent, I would put that in here because it works so well to clean carpets and just other things like that. So I'll just leave it this way. Another powdered cleaner I really like is Borox as well. So this may kind of be in rotation, but I'll know what's in it. And that's why I'm labeling it with this. In this one, I'm gonna put some steel scouring scrubbers. Um, another thing I may put in here is SOS pads or whatever, but I just found this pack on sale the other day and I grabbed them. Just since we moved, I'm kind of stocking up on a lot of things to keep up with the house. I don't use gloves a whole ton, but they are nice to have around in case you have a really messy mess. So this has two pairs in it. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in here and put the label on. Using the Cricut to make labels is so much fun. If you guys would like to know a little bit more on how to do that, let me know in the comments and maybe I can add in some content on how to use a Cricut to make labels. This turntable is going to be great for odds and end cleaners and things like that. It rotates really, really well, which is always something I test out in the store when I'm getting a turntable is some of them don't work as well as others. This one works extremely well. And I also picked up this spray bottle that I can keep white vinegar in. It works really good just to be cleaning up messes or something that smells bad. Um, and then I can also, this has a lot of space on it, so even if I add to the few things that I picked up for the house, um, I can add them on here and I don't have to worry about running out of space. I'm so excited about using this drawer system. So it is like a collapsible drawer system. It's very easy to put together. The units just pop together and you can stack them as high as you want and do whatever you want with them. And then these are the drawers that go right into the unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down under the sink first and then we will get these organized and labeled as well. I love making little spots for back storage, so I just made this place for my dish soap so I can grab it easily and go. Besides using more natural cleaners, I also love using Norwex. If you guys don't know what Norwex is, it's basically cloths that you only need water to use them. I have another video I can link below on how these actually work. They're really great for cleaning and I love them so much. Um, they do take some special care and all of that, so they're kind of their own thing. I do have a drawer that has my dishcloths and towels in it, but these specifically I'm going to be organizing into these two bins. All 
All right, the last thing I'm gonna add in here, I think I've been using under my sink for a couple years now. It's this vase, and it's actually from Hearth and Hand, um, the Target line, and it just works so well to hold like bottle brushes and things like that, and it's such a slim size that it fits in really, really well. So I just stuck it right in there. I'm gonna put my bottle brush in there, and I could not be more happy with how this all turned out. If you're new here, I would love it if you subscribed. Thank you so much for joining me for my video today. I had so much fun getting this all organized and put together. Let me know what your next task is, what area of your home you're looking to organize next, and I will see you all in my next video.